In this video, we will solve a single type of questions, determining the function by checking its graph. And I think this type is very probable in the Bokun test. So it is very likely that you uh, will see a question like this in the Bokun test. I warn you, in this type of questions, you don't need to know the graph of all functions in the answers. For example, you don't need to know the graph of x square or the graph of logs, but try to choose some points and check those points whether they are compatible or not with the answers. So here I have my graph. What do I do? I choose two points. No, the first one is one and three, and the second one is three and one. So I check the answers quickly, whether they are compatible with these two points. X square, exactly no, because one square is not three or three square is, is not one. You see, I don't need to know that X square has such a graph. Okay, whether I know or not, it is not um, you know, necessary in this question. Just check the points and reach the answer. 3x, you know, when x is 1, 3x is 3, okay. But when x is 3, 3x is 9, not 1. So this answer doesn't work either. 3 over x, when x is 1, 3 over 1 is 3, yes. When x is 3, 3 over 3 is 1, yes. Let's check the others as well. Because maybe there is another function that has those two points as well. But, you know, I might check additional, um, you know, points or additional um, lines. Log base 3x, you know, log in any base, log 1 is 0. Hence, log base 3, 1 cannot be 3. It is definitely 0. 3 to the power negative x. 3 to the power negative 1, when x is 1, 3 to the power negative 1 is 1 over 3, not 3. So this cannot be the answer as well. So 3 over x is the right answer. And I repeat, in this type of questions, just choose some points and please try to check the answers by checking those points. Please try, you know, not to think about the graph as a whole. Um, just do your checks based on the reference points. Uh, by doing this, you will reach the correct answer in a very short amount of time. 